Hi everyone, welcome back. So on today's video, um, I thought I'd try something with these silver birches that I've got behind me. Um, so um, as you know, um, I'm kind of getting into bonsai now. Uh, I'm very, very novice at it. So <laughs> I know that people was probably going to point things out to me because uh, they're very particular, some of these bonsai people. Uh, but anyway, so I've been growing loads of trees, as you know, and I've got about 20 birch trees here and um, so what I want to do is just kind of as an experiment uh, I'm going to make a little clump style bonsai with them or the beginnings of a bonsai uh, and I'm going to put them in this big pot for now it's a big terracotta pot uh, so it's not a bonsai pot but that doesn't really matter uh, so I'm going to choose maybe what I think we have to go for odd numbers when we're, with bonsai even as unlucky or something <laughs> I don't know uh, I'll probably choose like five or something of these, try and get more or less the same. And I'm going to try and do some sort of clump thing with them, tying them together. So hopefully when they grow, the stems, the trunks will merge together into a thicker tree. Um, we'll see how it goes anyway. So I'll choose five of these and we'll head over to the bench and we'll start fiddling with some trees. <laughs> Okay, so I've selected five of my birch trees. Um, I've tried to go for more or less the same thickness. Now these are all growing from seed. These are about a year old, just over a year old. Um, I put them in last winter, so winter 2021-2022. So yeah, they're about a year. And I did so too separate types of birch so there was some silver birch and there was also some red birch uh, chinese red birch um so i've chose some which look slightly different these ones have got sort of a hairy trunk and the other ones is more of a smoother trunk so i think they're separate types so that should be quite interesting if we can bunch them together and pull the branches out um we might get two slightly different types of leaves and it might be quite interesting so anyway i'm always up to experimenting so that's what i'm going to do so i'm going to take all these out of the pot and i'm going to have to prune some of these branches off a lot of these have died anyway a lot of these little twigs and like this one here has died these are all still alive uh, this one here looks mostly dead yeah, but I know, I know they'll grow back. These things are almost impossible to kill, uh, but they do have quite a few branches die. So that's maybe a reason why they're not used so much for bonsai. Because uh, you put all your time into a branch and then over the winter it can just die off. So all these little ones on this one have died. Uh, you can tell when they've died because the buds won't swell up on them. So these are all alive. I can see the buds swelling up. Uh, but it doesn't matter anyway, because we're going to clump them up. So I've got to get all these out of the pots. Um, I haven't looked at these for ages, and they should have some good roots now. Uh, they're not pot bound at all, but there's plenty of roots in there. So uh, I think now's an ideal time to be fiddling around with roots and stuff, pruning trees just before their dormancy breaks. So what I'm going to do is try and get some compost off on one edge of each one and then clump them together and I'm going to put them in a big pot and hopefully the trunks will merge as they grow. So I'll get them all prepared. Uh, I know you probably can't see my head, cut my head off. Uh, I can't, can't go back any further with the camera. Uh, but anyway, I'll get that done and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I'm on just on the last one now. Yeah, I actually decided to remove most of this soil because I made a mistake of leaving these sitting in water at the end of last year. And this soil was gone a bit sort of clunky, clunge sludgy. <laughs> um, I haven't got any bonsai tools yet, so I'm just using a kebab skewer. Just trying to 
not actually remove roots, but I'm just dragging them out this way so that they're radial. So I'm not actually going to cut any roots at the moment because I want them to be nice and healthy. Yeah, once they're more established in the other pot, when I come to move them into a bonsai pot, I can trim some roots down. Yeah, I'm just trying to find where the roots start on the trunk and just drag the roots out sideways. Um, the soil doesn't smell too, it's like mouldy, so I think I've caught it in time and all the buds are still swelling up, so I think they'll be perfectly fine. So that's one there, just want to show you. Uh, these are all seed grown by myself. So that's that. Okay, so I've got this nice terracotta pot. Like I said, it's not bonsai pot, but uh, they'll still look quite nice in it. And I'll give them a chance to grow and thicken up and merge together, hopefully. So I've just filled up with compost. Um, it's compost with some gravel mixed into it for extra drainage. So, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this. I want to kind of bunch them together, so I might have to remove some roots on one side of the trees. Right, if I just take that thick one off there, so I can get them two together. So I've never done this before, anything like this. But I've been watching a lot of videos. Peter Chan, <laughs> if you watch YouTube, you'll know who I'm talking about. And he is inspirational, honestly. I've watched a few of the other ones as well, but they're all a bit more sort of it has to be done a certain way, you have to do this, you have to do that. Whereas Peter Chan's just, just do it and see how it goes type thing. Which is kind of the way I want to do it. I don't want to be bothering about whether there's three trees, five trees, seven trees, or stuff like that. So I'm just removing stuff on one side of the trunk so I can get the trunks as close together as possible. I'm also paying attention to the ones that haven't got as many branches and the ones that have got more branches and trying to match them up so the branches point outwards. So them two can go together. Maybe we'll put ones with no branches in the middle. So, and now I'm going to tie a bit of wire around them to hold them in place. I may have to remove more roots that are in the way. Uh, but the good thing about silver birch, um, even though I've never bonsai them before, I know you can literally rip them out of the ground with hardly any roots, pop them in a pot, and they'll be fine, even in summer when they're growing. Um, it's very hard to kill them, so although they're probably not great for ones like as like I said, the every now and then branches will just die for no reason, or right, even on the bigger ones. So maybe that's why they're not used so much. Who knows? I don't know whether to try and twist them together or just tie them tightly in a bunch. We'll just tie them up in a bunch. Now I've got some wire, not bonsai wire, because I haven't got any. So, <laughs> before anyone says anything, I'm using what I've got. I haven't purchased any bonsai stuff yet. Because I don't want to invest in it if I'm not going to enjoy it, if you get what I mean. 
Okay. Trying to match up the branches, but I think I might have to just sort that out after I've tied them at the bottom. I'm going to tie them as tight as I can at the bottom, just above their roots. And then I can sort them out. Just to hold them still a bit. Okay, so I'll put one bit of wire around the bottom there. So what I'm trying to do is merge the trunks. So if I tie them tightly, they won't have a choice but to grow into each other. And they won't be able to push out because of the wire. That's the idea anyway. So as they grow, they'll kind of just become one tree, hopefully. And they're kind of wanting to twist just like this. So I might just remove these branches, the ones that are in the way. It will, these will grow new branches like, like you wouldn't know. <laughs> and I'll put another bit of wire up the top here. Should have cut a bit ready, shouldn't I? Um, I don't really like the whole S shape designs and stuff like that. I think it looks artificial. So I just kind of like straight trees. <laughs> or ones with like bends but natural. I don't think there's anything natural in a tree that's shaped like an S. Okay, so I've got them there. All I want to try and do is bend some of these branches out. Even as a birch, it could be kind of like a weeping birch. Yeah, you do get weeping birch. Much like the weeping willows. That branch is dead anyway, by the looks of it. If I just scratch it a little bit, yeah, I can tell that's dead. So all this is alive. These are definitely alive because they've got buds on. That's got buds waiting. Anyway, so that's about as high as I'm going to make the actual tree. And then I'm going to try and bend these down. I haven't got bonsai wire. <laughs> I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Yeah, but I have got some thick copper wire somewhere, which might be ideal. So I'll go and try and find that and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I found some copper wire that is quite tough and it's from electrical wire. Uh, I remember Peter Chan saying that's what he used when he first started so yeah, it's what I'm going to use. <laughs> um, so that's my idea, kind of bend these down. So I might replace these green ones with a bit of this in a minute because it matches in a bit better. Yeah, but I know he says two branch principle. So if I bend them two, them two are quite thick. So if I go from there to there with that one, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. These branches are really quite flexible. So, this will be one of my first attempts at wiring something. <laughs> so I do apologise if it's rubbish. I know he says to keep it tight. Tight to the trunk. And more or less 45 degrees. 
Now wrap the wire around the branch, not the branch around the wire. That's that one anchored onto there. So it's not going to go to the end, but you're going to have to do. Yeah, so I'll leave that like that for now. Trying to get my head out of the way, my arm out of the way so you can see. Okay, hopefully I'll be strong enough to bend that. Should be. Yeah, it works quite well, that. But I don't want it to be a sudden bend, I want it to be kind of gradual. So this is going to be like a broom style. <laughs> I think that's what it's called. That's like a bush, right? Like a weeping willow type thing. So I'll kind of adjust them later. But that's that's the idea I'm going for with all of them branches. So I'll wire up the other ones and get back to you. Okay, so I've finished putting that wire on now. Um, not particularly pretty, uh, but like the copper blends in quite well actually. So. Now what I want to do is kind of make these point down. Doesn't matter if they're slightly different heights, I don't think, because it adds to the effect. That actually works quite well for bending them. Uh, I don't want to make it too evenly spaced either because I want it to be natural. So I think that's pretty good. Uh, so what I might do now is just get rid of this green stuff and cut a little bit of this copper off to go around there to hold it together. I'll wrap it up there. I'll thread it through that bit of wire to stop it sliding down. Now I'm not going to twist it, I'm going to just wrap it all the way around. Like that. And I can get rid of that bit of wire there. Undo that so I can save it. I might try and wire some of the little little branches. These ones, we get them to go down. Trim them down a bit. Not sure about these bottom ones. Take that one off. Just cut another bit of copper to go on there. It doesn't really matter so much because I can bury that one. Actually, no, because I want the roots to be showing. So I will replace that little bit of copper. I've only got a little tiny bit of copper left. I'm going to have to invest in some bonsai more. 
I was saying that, they're kind of staying together. I will put a bit of wire around there now, just to tighten it up. Because otherwise they might just spread apart. Oh, that wire's quite strong. Put another bit in the middle there. Stop that bowing out. The wire doesn't go very far, does it? <laughs> I'll try and bend them around with a pair of pliers, I think, in a bit. I think that looks pretty good. I'll leave some of the roots kind of exposed a little bit. Got to do some more tweaking. Okay, so I found some more wire. Again, and it's not bonsai wire. Uh, it's like steel garden wire. Uh, it seems to be doing the trick though. It's quite hard to work with. And I'm just trying to shape the branches now. So this is my first attempt. Well, almost lost. I've done a couple of little little things before, but nothing like this. Stuck some wire on a olive tree that we had just to bend the branches down a bit and that worked all right so i might have to invest in some bonds or what anyway so that's about what i've got so far it looks like a bunch of wire at the moment but obviously when it grows this will all be covered in leaves and hopefully you won't see it too much um, I think that's about what I'm going to do for now. Uh, I was thinking halfway through using this wire and these little thin branches. Um, as soon as they start growing, they're going to thicken up really fast. Because uh, these birds just grow really fast. So, I might have to take them off pretty much straight away or leave them to grow into it. Anyway, so I was just going to put it in this pot. And I'll show you the final product when I've finished. Okay, so this is the final product. A weeping birch clump style, clump style, is that what you call it? Bonsai tree. <laughs> uh, I'm quite happy with it to be honest. I think it turned out quite nice. So let me know what you think guys. First proper attempt at trying to do a bonsai. Uh, I could tweak it a bit more, but I'm quite happy with it. I, I made it kind of lean over that way, so it's kind of been pulled down by the weight of them branches on that side. And I wired most of them, not with bonsai wire. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you think. Okay everyone, so thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed today's video, any pointers for me, leave a comment, any questions, leave a comment, so this is a birch, uh, there's five trees there, wrapped together, and I've made it into like a weeping birch, so these could be red birch or silver birch, so we'll have to wait and see when the leaves come out see if there's a difference anyway thanks so much for watching hope you will subscribe and i'll see you on the next one have a great week